Our week-long series highlighting young people that are serving our communities. This morning, meet the college student speaking out against her peers' liberal politics and mulling a bid for Minnesota State House of Representatives as a Republican. University of Minnesota student and campusreform.org correspondent Megan Olson. Hey, Megan. Hi, thank you so Hi. much for having me on. You're welcome. We're so proud of you. You're young and you have you you are considering whether or not you're going to run for House of Representatives. You made that announcement on Tuesday. When will you make your final decision? Um, I am absolutely running for House uh, in are. 2020. I'm super excited to represent the 57th Congress or the 57th House District. Possibly, um, it's going to be a great race. I'm just advocating for uh, a lot of individual autonomy and personal freedom because that's exactly what makes my home community thrive. Are you the youngest person in your state that's ever run for this office? I think I honestly um, am a little bit older by about 30 days when I looked into <laughs> it, actually. So, you know, we do almost made it. We almost made it. So why do you want to run? <laughs> Um, I want to run because, you know, I've seen bureaucracy and big government on my college campus and I've, I've seen what it does and all it does is stifle free speech and silence a lot of voices. Um, and I think that intellectual diversity is really important. Um, my community definitely thrives on individual autonomy. And I, I just I personally believe that people in my community, uh, they can make better decisions for themselves and for their families um, than the government can. Megan, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a college student graduating in May from the University of Minnesota, and then I will be starting my campaign for House. Um, I work for, I write for, as a correspondent, the Leadership Institute's campus reform. I um, mean, that's just been key to helping me build my confidence and find my voice on my college campus, speaking out against liberal bias and abuse. Um, and I've brought this confidence to my campaign, and I fully intend on winning in 2020. I was reading a little bit about you, and I, I think it's so sweet what you do with your first grade teacher. Tell the folks at home about that story. Yeah, absolutely. So my first grade teacher, she also taught my two older sisters um, in elementary school, and we've my family has just maintained close ties with her. And so I actually have been told over the years that I kind of look like the Disney princess Elsa. So my mom decided to make an Elsa dress for me, and I dress up in my community and go around reading to um, elementary schools. I attend church events and birthday parties as well, and it's just a great way to give back to my community and channel my inner Elsa. <laughs> I wish I had known that back in in November when my daughter turned four. We could have had you at her birthday party. She loves Elsa. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, you are so cute and we wish you all the best. When, when, so you've already filed, you haven't filed the paperwork though yet, right? No, I have not, but you can go ahead and check out my website at votemeganolson.com to get all the information about my campaign and volunteer and possibly donate as well. Okay. Thanks, Megan. More Fox and Friends.